So let's get started. And uh, this time we actually will be using Apache. So go ahead and make sure Apache is running. Go to your XAMPP, XAMPP control panel. And make sure that Apache is running. And uh, you won't need MySQL or FileZilla, but you should have both port 80 and port 443. And then go ahead and download the starter files from the class module. And you should get uh, wcag.zip. I'm going to right click on that and use 7-zip or um, I'll just extract all. So extract all to wcag. And now I have a wcag folder. So what we start with is just um, an icon. Um, for our bookmarklet and uh, a warning SVG that will be displaying as the warning icon in our document. There's a CSS file with a little markup um, and uh, this bookmarklet we'll talk about later. So let's go ahead and get started by adding a bookmarklet to Chrome and I'm going to get rid of my old one first. So bye. Okay, sad. Um, and uh, I'm going to go to my bookmark manager and under my bookmarks bar I'm going to add a page and I can supply a name or, and a URL. So my name is going to be WCAG and then this URL, so here's where it starts to get tricky. So for a bookmarklet, you can actually have a JavaScript URL. So URL is like HTTP colon or FTP colon. You can also use JavaScript colon here. And then you can give it basically a function that gets run when the bookmark is clicked. So let's go ahead and create one of those. And we're going to start with JavaScript tag. And then we want to have basically all of our JavaScript um, live inside of these parentheses. And we're going to start by calling a function void. And let's see what void does. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back here and get my console. And if I say void of zero, I get undefined. If I say void of true, I get undefined. So basically void just returns undefined. And that's what we need to keep the bookmark um, from actually loading a new page. And then inside of here, I'm going to have a JavaScript function that gets run when the bookmarklet is clicked on. And so I'm going to create an anonymous function. And I could put all of my code here, but it's going to be pretty long. So what I want to do instead is I want to get whatever web page is currently displaying to load my script. And the way I'm going to do that, there's a couple ways, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to create a DOM element for a script tag, and I'm going to add it to the head of the current document. So when this function is run, it's going to create um, a file reference. And I'm going to create an element of type script. And I'm going to set the source equal to the URL where my script lives. And And then I'm going to have my WCAG folder. And then I'm going to call it WCAG.js. So I have to create that file. And I'll go ahead and put a type here. And then finally, I'm going to add this tag to my documents head. So document.get elements by tag name, head, and then I'm going to take the first one of those. So this could return a list of elements, except that um, each document 
only has one head, so I know that this collection sub so zero is going to return the head of my document. And then I'm going to append child my file ref. So that should cause my file to get loaded. And then in order to call it, I'm just going to do that. So actually, I'm not going to save this file. No, I will save it. OK, so I'm going to save this into my um, C. XAMPP htdocs wcag and I'll call it bookmarklet.js and then I'm going to copy this whole thing and I'm going to use this as the URL. So let's try this again. Add page. And then for URL, I'm just going to paste in that whole block of code. So now I have a WCAG bookmarklet. And if I run it, I'll get an error because I haven't created my WCAG.js file yet. I actually got an unexpected token. Oh, yes, no semicolon here. Right, OK. so. This is a little different from regular JavaScript code. If you want to have multiple statements, instead of separating them with semicolons, you need to have a comma because it's inside of a list of statements. So let's go ahead and edit this bookmark. And I'm going to paste the new version in. And now let's try running it again. Go to console. Right. So. Now I get the problem because I haven't created WCAG.js yet, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to say console.log hello bookmark lights. And I'm going to save this into WCAG.js. Make sure I'm in XAMPP HD docs. So now when I click on the bookmarklet, it should write hello world to the log. And it does. So every time I click here, I get another hello bookmarklet. So now we're loading our JavaScript. Let's go ahead and load our uh, style sheet as well. So this time, I'm going to load my style sheet before I load my JavaScript um, because the JavaScript needs the style sheet to be active. So, uh, um, so this time I'm going to create a link and I'm going to set the rel to style sheet. And I'm going to set the type to text CSS. And I'm going to set the href to the URL for my style sheet. And that was one of the files that I provided to you. And then basically, let me just copy this whole thing right here. So now we have to update the code in our bookmarklet. So I'm going to copy everything and edit my bookmarklet and change the URL. Save. And then reload and click. So now if I go to Sources, under Localhost, WCAG, I loaded my style sheet as well as my JavaScript. Now you'll notice that if I click this multiple times, let me go to Elements, and we'll see what's happening in the head. So at the bottom of the head, you'll see Link, Script, Link, Script. And if I click it again, I get it again. 
So basically, every time I click this button, it's going to uh, reload my style sheet and my JavaScript. So that's not really ideal. So let's go ahead and fix that as well. A bookmarklet is a little different from just the JavaScript that runs in your browser in terms of error checking. If I try to access an undefined variable inside of a bookmarklet, the whole thing bombs out. So first I want to basically find out whether the thing has been loaded already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, variable in my JavaScript called and I'm just picking something that I'm pretty sure is not going to be used by any other bit of software and I'm going to set that to true. So then in here I'm going to check whether WCAG loaded is true or not is set. But before I can do that, I can't just say this. Because if I try to get the value of WCAG loaded, it's not going to return undefined. It's actually going to throw an error. So let's see that. So let me go ahead and copy all of this. And I'm going to go to Edit and paste and save and then hit reload. So now if I type WCAG loaded into my console it's not defined and if I click on my bookmarklet I get the same error. So it doesn't just return undefined and set it. It throws an error which interrupts the rest of my bookmarklet. So what I have to do here, and that's a little bit pickier than regular JavaScript. So what I have to do here is basically wrap this in try catch. So try that. And if I get an error, then I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to ignore the error. Um, but this way, loaded will still be false if I get an error. Whereas if WCAG loaded is already set to true, then loaded will be true. So if not loaded, then I'm going to do all of this stuff. So now it should only load this stuff once. Copy that and edit. And now, if I click that, I get hello bookmark. And I get one copy here. And if I click it again, nothing, nothing is happening. Basically, it's skipping everything else. So I don't want it to actually completely skip everything. What I want it to do is call a function. So if I load it, I want to call a function when it's done loading. And if it's already loaded, I just want to call the function. So if not loaded, else, like so. And basically, I want to expose a function in here. And I'm going to call it document web content accessibility guidelines and once again this something that hopefully is not being used much in other programs and then when it's loaded I want to call check document wk so the first time this gets loaded it will define the function and then call it subsequent times it's loaded it will just call my check document function. So let's copy that and edit. And then reload. So the first time I run this, every time I click hello bookmarklet, it runs it again. And then under Elements, 
I see that I only have my style sheet and my JavaScript once. So everything seems to be working and we're ready to actually start implementing our JavaScript.